Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be recreating a makeup look from the Friendcation palette from Desi X Katie. It's a collab with Dose of Colors. This is an extremely old palette. It's one of those like throwback videos I've been trying to get out for you guys after doing my declutter. I did this look for, I believe, the Wet n Wild foundation video. I'll go ahead and put it up here. I don't exactly remember what video it was. So that's what I'm here to do today, to recreate this look with this awesome old palette. So if you're excited to see how this this look turns out then go ahead and keep watching so I am I got a new table by the way I got a new table it's so much bigger you guys have no idea like the table I was filming on was like a TV dinner table so it was like this big and now this one is like this big like you can't see my hands but it's like big and it folds up so I could put it away easy because if you know you know I got no space in here but I needed a table that I could put a lot of stuff on and it wasn't crazy so like I said in the intro the palette I will be using today is the Friendcation palette from Dose of Color and Desi, X, Desi and Katie collabed with. It is this palette right here. I've had this palette for a very long time and I don't know what happened the other day, but I was just like, yes, this is my journey. This is the palette I want to go with. I also have to wash my brushes this weekend and I'm just like, mm, mm, no thanks. So the first, so I went in with this color, which is necessary. And I just literally, so it looks like super tan, but then when I put it on, it wound up being like, it's more mauve-y. It's, so, it's such a weird color, but such a pretty color. So I'm going to just lightly buff that above my crease and out. I don't really, I just kind of went in and did this look because I needed to do an eye look for the foundation review. I'm really trying to start using like older palettes. One, so you guys can like start grabbing yours too. Like I'm hoping to inspire more people just to grab like older palettes. I mean, obviously you want the new palettes. You want all that stuff. I mean, me too. Me too, it's cool. <laughs> but I just want to encourage people to just try to grab their older palettes a little bit more and just try to have some fun with their older palettes and just don't forget them. Like just remember they're there. So I just put that all over the eye and I'm going to put a little bit down on my lid as well. And I brought that up to my brow bone. I'm gonna go in this cool new Morphe brush I got from this little bag collection. It's like a slanted blending brush. It's angled. I'm gonna try to use it. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't mess up the whole look. So the next thing I did was I went in with this color on my outer corner and brought it in just a little bit and into my crease as well. Oh, wow. I feel like it definitely covers more space a lot quicker with this brush, but I don't feel like it's practical. Ah, cause it like kind of big for my eye. It's not terrible, but I do like that it kind of just like covered that whole area that fast. So I'm just bringing just a little bit of that color over, not too much. And I had very little on the brush when I did it. The next thing I did was I went in with an eye primer. I used the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer, but you can use any translucent primer you have or would like. And I'm just using this like rubber brush piece that I got from that eye, eye set like collection just to apply the eye primer. I feel like brushes always soak the eye primer up and it's a waste where my fingers don't really give it such a sharp like more precise lay so I like this this is new too I'm, I'm liking it it's weird it feels weird but it's it's nice so I am applying this eye primer on the inner eye working up above my crease because I do have slightly hooded eyes and then just over to meet that color at the end all right, so now that I have that place, I'm just going to go back to that outer corner and give it just a little bit more color right here. Some of it sometimes will get over there and it just takes from that color. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the inner corner out and it's going to be this beautiful color right here, which is, I believe it's just a kiss. I'm not really certain. And this one was girl by. So for these colors, I do have to spend spray the brush for the shimmers to get them to stick the way that I want to and usually I use a really super synthetic brush and so I just take it and I press and swipe yep. and just keep going all over where you just laid down the primer and it's so nice sometimes when you do the primer first because it's almost like a guide like where does everything need to go so then I just blend it out a little bit towards that darker red just slightly because we're gonna put another color there now you're more than welcome to use your finger because sometimes I will go in after I place it and just pop more color there because the heat from your finger with shimmers is going to give you look at that like just such a better boom 
stuff. All right, so the next color I'm going to go into is just going to be another shimmer, and it's going to be right here, which I believe is Try Me. I'm pretty sure it's Try Me. And I'm also going to go in with that same synthetic brush after I wipe it, which is, by the way, it's the L17 from the Laura Lee Los Angeles collection. And I'm just going to pick up just a very little amount. If you guys have this palette, this one comes like a lot of it comes up and I'm gonna go right to the middle of the colors or right to the middle of my eye and I'm just going to lightly stroke that to my outer corner going all the way up and you can really do this with any palette that has these colors in it because I know that this palette is no longer available so I'm just rubbing this to the right only to the right we're gonna fix that harsh line okay so you're gonna go in with that same brush and you're gonna go back into that color just a kiss and we're gonna just go right here in the middle of Just a Kiss and Try Me. And we're gonna just blend it like this. Swipe to the right, swipe to the right. And it just makes it more seamless. You can do this with a matte color right here, but I just thought like the shimmer just winded up making it so pretty. Having that shimmer maroon color in between. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into this color right here, which is Girl Bye, that we placed on the ends. And we're gonna lightly go where the matte maroon and the shimmer maroon start and just give it a whirl. Nothing crazy, just blend that out. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with that first blending color, which was necessary. And I'm gonna go right up here and I'm just going to blend over the glitter line and then over that. What that does is it just kind of basically blends everything together so it's not so harsh. Also an update for the ABH brow freeze. If you have not seen that video, I'll go ahead and link that up here. It definitely wasn't my journey. Um, I still don't think that it is. I've tried it by itself. I've tried it now I'm just basically using it as a gel like a clear brow gel that's basically all I'm using it for now I try to use it by itself and literally it, my brows wound up going down after like two hours so I was just like okay this is not working for me so I don't know what I did wrong I don't know if maybe I got like a bad batch or whatever but it just doesn't work for me I everyone loves it everybody loves it but I just it has not been my thing. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. If you have not seen that video, if you're new here, you probably haven't seen that video. You're gonna wanna go check it out and you'll see, you'll see what I mean. It was not good, that's all I'm saying, sneak peek. So the next thing I did was not actually in this palette, just to give it a little more definition. I went into the Mario Master Metals palette. So I used the bronze last time. But I think I'm gonna go in with the rose gold today, which is this end one, because I just feel like it goes way better with this look than the bronze one does. All right, so basically what you do, if you guys have never seen this palette, is you scrape a little bit of color, just a little is needed, I have learned that. I've used this palette a couple of times. I did a review on it, but so basically you just scrape a few pieces of that color you chose and then you go in with the, this is the Master Metals Manipulator and you just put two little drops and this will last you a really long time. Honestly, I love, love this palette for eyeliner looks or like really just dramatic effect looks and you just start with the spatula and then I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and I'm basically just going to over like line I'm going to outline that shimmery gold I definitely like the um, rose gold better the bronze was nice but it kind of blended in with this shimmery color so it didn't look as good and I just brought it out here it just gives it like a nice like graphic liner effect. You don't have to do this if you're not comfortable doing it. I just really, really like doing stuff like this because I think it brings out like a lot of just like in your look. Just give it a little bit. It gives it a little bit more dimension. So it's not just all one. It's just like, oh, it's so good. So off camera, I decided to go back in with bronze to go over the rose gold. I don't know why. I just didn't like how the rose gold. I thought that it looked so much better and I was just like, I hate this so I changed it back so now I'm gonna go back in with this one right here which is just a kiss 
and I'm going to lightly go over that graphic liner just to make it blend in just a little bit more. I'm just topping off that shimmery color and then basically going back in with every color and just making sure it's all touched up and it all looks so good. I'm just basically just blending everything out. So that is it for this portion of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera, throw my face makeup on, and then I'll be right back and we will finish off the look with the bottom eyelids. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Guys, so I went ahead and put all my makeup on and my lashes. So for my lip, I am using the Lunar Beauty in Daydream. And then for my face, I'm actually using new products. So stay tuned for that. You will get that review. So I'm gonna go under my eye. I'm gonna go under my eye, okay. I'm going to be putting this girl by under my eye just to give it like a nice little color. And I'm going to go from the outer corner and just go to the middle. It just gives it such a more like snatch look when I connect those two colors. So I'm actually gonna bring that color all the way over, but I'm going to lightly blend it over here. So I put most of the color on the outside. So I'm going in, so I'm gonna go in with Just a Kiss, and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, like this, and bring it down just a smidge. It just kind of makes my eyes look a little bit more open, so I love doing that. So I'm going in with my Bottom Lash Mascara. I'm just doing a little shimmy shimmy. I'm all about maroons, pinks, champagnes. Like this is my color scheme. I just love it. All right guys, so that is it for today's video and for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a fairly simple look to achieve and a very like glamorous, but also neutral look that you can wear anywhere and feel comfortable. If you guys have this palette, I do recommend you just pulling it back out. I know she's old. Pull her back out and give this look a try. It's so beautiful and so easy to achieve. If you do not have this palette, you can literally use any palette with these colors in it. And a lot of palettes come with these very basic neutral colors um it's my favorite thing to do is be basic so i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five videos every week and one blooper video every saturday and i'll see you guys on the next one bye